<laughs> I zigged when I should have zagged. I seem to have taken a right turn at Albuquerque. In five, four. First, there were TED Talks. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, that dude that milks the Tesla name. Then you had TEDx. You know, that's where you get into people like, uh, what's his name now? Mm, I didn't say. Uh, Rupert Sheldrake. Now we bring you Ted, eh? The esoteric side of the multiverse. Let's go back to <clears throat> that dude that milks the Tesla name. What, 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 what's his name? Oh, Elon Musk. So. <clears throat> I have visions, but they're not really visions. It's like, it's just an idea that's formed and it feels like a vision. It, 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 it feels very visual. It, I sketch it all out and so on. My hand, my fine motor skills are terrible. <laughs> so they never come out quite like what the vision looks like. But. So I'm up in Muskoka and I'm driving a cab <clears throat> and, you know, just blazed, just blazing through the woods, like blazing through the woods. It was <laughs> stories for another time. So I had this vision of a flying taxi. Now, uh, you know, somebody's done a flying taxi before, but no, I want a flying Tesla taxi. And I don't mean Tesla, the Elon Musk motor car company. I want it to be driven by Tesla technology. So basically picture, if, if you don't know about Nikola Tesla and the kind of things he invented, um, it wasn't just about, you know, alternating current and so on. That's what he's most famous for because it basically ruined the world. <laughs> so, so... It wasn't just the electricity. It was everything that it powered. <coughs> Anyhow, and they went coal-fired. They went all kinds of stuff. It should have just been hydro, right? We have a tube that's unused in Niagara, and yet they're building little power plants. Fucking up the recreational tourist economy for a whole bunch of people. Changing everything to make it plastic. You have a plastic reality, plastic nature. So does Neil Blue. He's a plastic nature. But together we overcome that.
So back to the flying taxi, <clears throat> the flying Tesla taxi. I'm driving along and I'm thinking it, I have this funny video in my head, like a funny or die kind of skit, you know, sketch comedy. So <laughs> I'm picturing, how do you make a flying taxi? Okay, well, you know, you can put a big rotor on it and blah, 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 blah. But we make a Tesla taxi. So first of all, Tesla invented something called the Tesla turbine. And basically it runs on the boundary, uh, the boundary layer principle or whatever. <clears throat> Flat disks that spin real fast and generate, you know, compression. You, you can use it as a compressor. You can use it as, you know, thrust, whatever. So you can use it to the the main thing is that you can use it to drive a an alternator or something like that you know basically whatever anything that you would use a turbine for and there's lots of videos on how to make these things out of like stepper motors and so on there's the there's you can digitally print so it's it's a well-known technology so you take a whole about i don't know massively redundant you're going to make a flying car that you're going to carry people in for hire. It's got to be massively redundant. <clears throat> so you got like a hundred Tesla turbines on the bottom of like a, you know, Toyota Tercel. <laughs> Do they even make those anymore? So you got a Toyota Tercel with like a hundred Tesla turbines on the bottom of it. You have four generators, hydrogen generators. Now, <clears throat> Everybody goes, Hydrogen! Ah, Hindenburg! I have to build a prototype, but if it works correctly, it's basically um, a, like a Galvalume honeycomb uh, in a carbon fiber shell. So you could basically fill it with hydrogen, put it in a howitzer, shoot it two miles in the air, have it come crashing down, and a hundred years from now it'll still be fine. If the design works. So you're not doing a lot of polluting because hydrogen is wonderful. You know, it's got a lot of benefits ecologically. Burn your garbage to generate hydrogen. <gasps> Good technology. Here you go. In Brampton, they have the Algonquin power. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I've been told that the air coming out of the stack is cleaner than the air over the 407 beside it. <clears throat> it's not a harmonica, you can't inhale notes. Well. So four hydrogen power generators, 100 to 200 Tesla turbines on the bottom. And they can, you know, all do this. You get Google to use their self-driving car technology. And then all you need is a driver to make sure that, you know, everything is no glitches. Watch for glitches. The glitches be bitches. So the video in my head has <clears throat> Seth Rogen playing me pitching the idea to Elon Musk and Sergey Brin. And, you know, of course, he's got all his drawings and, and everything because, you know, it's all there. It all exists. You just have to put it all together, right? Get Ballard Power involved, you know, something like that. Or, you know, whoever has the best 
hydrogen burning technology. They love the idea. You know, you go into production, you know, it's Friday night in Muskoka, it's time for the big unveiling. You pick up a couple of guys, everybody's happy. You got all the press going on, take them to the bar, you know. Later on, you go back, you pick them up, everybody's happy. You get, you know, up around a thousand feet in the air and all of a sudden they're, <laughs> It's a hundred dollar surcharge if you yak in the cab. Just a couple of names, whatever. Live, love, and stay wild, my friends. Thank you for allowing me to share. Namaste.